Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel and for those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Catherine and I tell true stories. Have you ever wondered after buying some meat in some dingy street area and the meat tasted so good that you wondered what was that I just ate? And then you hear of some stories of some missing cats in some area. You hear of some stories or you see some pictures of some men carrying dead hyenas on the back of their motorbike. And they're not going to bury the hyena. And the missing cats do not... seem to be found, but it's just around the area that there is this delicious delicacy that is cooked and roasted at the back of the street, of the dingy street. Well, USA is known as a land of opportunities, but it also has its own mysteries, very dark sides of serial killers, weird cycles, you know, somebody who just decides I will be killing blondes only, you know, and then I cut off a piece of their hair and leave a thread and just leave it there to show that I am the one who committed that murder. You find somebody who specializes in just murdering blue eyes. Or somebody who just specializes in murdering women. This is normally uh, famous in Mexico and of course Kenya in an area, a town called Nakuru. Just a serial killing of women for no reason. So this world has so many psychopaths or mental... Anyway, a psychopath is a mental case. Well, my story today is about a guy called Joe Metheny. Joe Metheny grew up in an uh, unstable family, of course. Average family, the father was a drunkard though, but the mother was okay. Joe Metheny grew up into a very huge uh, six feet, uh, many pounds, I cannot approximate, but he was fat. You know, fat and six feet is like a bear, slightly lesser than a bear. So this guy joined the military at the age of 19 and began doing drugs, he says, during the military time. But there was something not so right about him as uh, he murdered two women as per the case, the court case. But according to him, he murdered more than, more, more than two women. He says, 13 women I murdered, not two. Isn't that a psychopath? You're not even defending yourself, but you want it to be more women. They are not two, they were 13. Well, he began by murdering the two guys he believed were staying with his wife and trafficking her after she ran away from his home with his son, his only child. He took an axe the moment he set his eyes on them and smashed them beyond recognition. That was what he was being convicted of people only but according to him 
he murdered prostitutes. Because he was kind of a hard-working guy, but at the end of the day, he will retire to his cabin with at least a prostitute. And when she will refuse his sexual advances, he will murder her. My question is, what was the prostitute doing with him if she was rejecting his sexual advances? Wasn't that her purpose? Sex in exchange of money? But then he will descend on them and murder them. It's believed that he murdered one of them by strangulation with a cord. Wanted to bury her, but then on second thought, he decided to chop off her head. One of his duties, his side hustles, was to sell buggers by the street. After his job, he will make extra money by selling delicious burgers by the street. Why do I come to this thing of burgers? Well, think twice when you buy a burger by the side of the street. Or mutura, something that is a mixture of intestines with some pieces of minced meat that you don't know of what that is sold at the side of the streets normally in Kenya very delicious but you don't know what's inside the hyenas you see people carrying on their motorbikes the missing cats you don't know I am not judging all the Mutura people but these foods that are uninspected beware so this John Metany apparently was mixing human flesh of the people that he had murdered with his burgers and people loved it. They did not know that they are eating maybe their friend. They say it tasted like pork, mixture of human flesh and some other flesh. I don't know of what. If the guy can mince human flesh, you don't know what else he missed because he's saving money. And people love the delicacy. They didn't know what they were eating. Joe Metany murdered another woman again for refusing his sexual advances and turned her into a burger. And people enjoyed the burger. But this one, his friend decided to report to the police because he had asked him to help him dispose of the body of this woman that he had murdered. What's in the mentality of these murderers? I think they're psychopaths. Because you cannot kill somebody and then call somebody to help you dispose of the body. This is a very big crime that you should try to hide. But in their case, they're looking for help from somebody else. That is why these murderers are actually not mentally upright upstairs. They need to be taken to a psychiatric center instead of a prison. And maybe after that into a prison after they have healed. So that they can understand what they did. Otherwise taking them straight to the prison. They're still mad cases. They don't know why they're there. Because mentally upset they're not good. Normally caused by over depression or something of the sort. Look at another woman by the name Omauma in one of my videos. An Egyptian lady but was living in the U.S murdered her husband and ate him. This Joe Menti was also eating his victims. And that's why he discovered that they are very delicious and decided to 
to add it in his secret recipe of his burgers on the back street. So people, when you're buying the food at the back of the streets in these dingy areas where the, flying, the flies are being chased by the people, roasting them, beware. Beware. You might just be eating one of your friends, one of your missing relatives. You might just be a cannibal. An innocent cannibal. Ciao.